George's first win of the season here tonight against Christian Brothers. Just kind of take me through the excitement to get in the win column. Yeah, we de definitely can go to sleep early tonight, you know. No, no more long nights thinking about losing, but uh, it was good to get Coach, Coach Gillis' first win. He deserves it. Take me through your performance. Um, um, how do you think you played and, and what stood out? Yeah, I thought I executed well. I thought I thought the line did a really good job of giving me, giving me a good amount of time to throw, and uh, receivers made plays as well. You're able to do this in front of Coach Apple tonight. Um, what did it mean for him to be out here and, and watch you know this first game that he can be out on the road? I think it means a lot. I know they have they have an early. I think it's 11 a.m. game tomorrow, so for him to be here the night before, you know, it means a lot to me. Obviously, he can't talk to you out here. But you yeah. guys can talk on the phone. What's conversation continue to be like, and and how are they prioritizing you? Yes, yeah, so I've been talking to either him or Coach Halsley or Coach Mitch about every day, and uh, you know they told me they were coming. I was excited for him to come, and uh, yeah, it's been great. I hope they hope they get their season off to a good start tomorrow. You talked about that 11 a.m. start tomorrow. You're, you're going over. Yeah, I should. I should. Yes, sir. What's what's the focus as, as you watch Tennessee start a new season? What are you going to look? What are you going to be looking for? Uh, to see how they transition from quarterback to quarterback. I, I know it's Coach Hypel's system, but it's still a new man at the helm. So, um, as this season unfolds for you, what do you have planned visit wise? Um, none of these are like official, but I'll uh, I'll be at uh, Texas uh, Texas at Bama next weekend, and then I'll be at LSU, Arkansas at LSU uh, when they play, and then uh, trying to get to UT for the Texas A&M game. You took a core group of visits this spring and summer. Yep. Um, limited kind of number there as you're working through your high school season here. What are you focusing on this fall? Uh, this fall, honestly, just winning games. You know, that's that's kind of why I kept my visit schedule smaller in the spring and the summer, and uh, probably do that again this uh, this coming fall because. Uh, you know, just, just got to be winning games. That's that's the whole part. For sure. As, as you get out on those visits to those okay. schools, what are you looking at? Um, I think a lot of the schools I'm looking at kind of uh, they're transferring from quarterback to quarterback or maybe coordinator to coordinator. So uh, just kind of see how they transition out of it and if they can still keep their trajectory of their program going upwards. You're pretty advanced in the process at this point. What, what's the timeline look for you? What's what's next for you in terms of the recruitment? Is it a is it a top schools list? Does it start working toward a commitment in the fall? You know, after this fall, what what are you yeah. looking like? Yeah, it's kind of wide open right now. Um, I think I might release the top schools uh, kind of soon. I've been saying that for a while, but uh, we'll we'll see. Um, you know, uh, just kind of just enjoying this season and keeping it wide open. And uh, I, you know, I don't have a date that I want to set. I think I, when I know I want to commit, I'll know. So. You, you, like, like we talked about, you got back in the win column here tonight. Yes, sir. What do you have to do moving forward to, to keep doing that? You got a lot of big games left on the schedule. You got Macaulay here. You're at Lipscomb. Uh, both are huge games. But every game you're going to play from here on out is pretty big. So oh, what's yeah. important to this football team moving forward? Yeah, we know there's no weeks off for sure. Even after the first two games, like, those aren't necessarily games that we circle on our schedule and say, hey, we got to win these. So obviously taking no games off because we're, we're about to start playing the big boys. So You heard it here from 2025 four-star quarterback and the top player in the state of Tennessee in the own three rankings, George McIntyre, George Sanks. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.